Hello there Virgos, welcome to your weekly reading. Um, first off, I have a few big messages for you guys. Um, I feel like this is a week where the, the, um, the give and take in a relationship, and it doesn't even matter what kind of relationship it is, um, imbalances in give and take in friendships, in collegial relationships with work um, colleagues, co-workers, bosses, and as well as people who are near and dear to you, a relationship partner, a child, um, somebody that you share space with, whatever it is, whatever those relationships are, um, the, the balance in the give and take is going to be very, very crucial. So it's almost like I see this delicate balance. I'm doing this, I'm contributing this, what are you contributing? I don't see you openly saying that, but I feel like you are at a point where you're not going to uh, allow somebody to take advantage of you. You are coming into this sense of awareness that other people are very self-interested and they're going to do the least amount of work and get the most benefits out of situations. And I see like, you know, in the past you have been aware of it and you're just like, it's okay, it's okay, it's not the end of the world. But this week, it's um, it's actually very important. And so look at a situation for what it is. Don't uh, try to rationalize it. Don't make excuses for the other person. And really seeing the situation in its entirety for what it is, okay? Um, I see a person that uh, you're dealing with and uh, they're very smart okay very shrewd very smart and they're kind of like um, they're, they're kind of like the angel in your eyes okay like you you really you have great communication with them uh, you get along with them you trust them because you know they're they're very intelligent they're, they seem like very competent and very capable I see for many of you this is a family member and I see it can go uh, one of two ways if it's an enlightened person, so I have here an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. If this is an enlightened person, they're very generous, very giving, very fair. And their 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 concept in life, like the, the rule of thumb that they live by, is about fairness. Okay, they want people to get what they deserve. So if someone works hard, they want that person to get promoted. Um, if somebody is generous, they will also give their generosity. And then I also feel this person, they have the potential, um, it, it could be like another person you're dealing with, where they're not enlightened, where they are operating from more of a selfish, self-enlightened uh, space, you know, like more, I guess, just uh, more self-serving. And what I'm feeling is, um, it's all about money with them. It's all about what they can get out of you. So they can be very, very sweet. They can be, uh, they can put on a front where they are very um, likable, very congenial, very uh, cooperative, just to get something out of the interaction. And I feel like they're like this with everybody, okay? And I feel like you're starting to see it. You're starting to see that it's on a front, but they've been doing it for so long. It's, it's, it kind of surprised you like how could you keep up the charade for so long how could you you know do this for so long and and no one knows about it so i definitely feel like somebody who is very very self-serving and it's all a matter of what other people can do for me what can i get out of this how can i you know um kind of like weasel my way into a situation and, and put on like a shiny facade and, and just get the most benefits out of it. So that's what I'm feeling. I also feel like um, in the work environment as well, um, be careful about, you know, taking on responsibilities. You guys have a habit of um, doing too much for other people, doing too much for a work situation. And then, you know, um, you're, you get taken advantage of. So I feel like you're drawing clear boundaries you are holding yourself back. You know, we are heading into the holiday season, so a lot of work needs to be uh, finished um, so that, you know, they don't sit overnight through the long holiday season. 
So what I'm feeling is uh, there's a lot of meetings, there's a lot of um, group work and collaboration between you and other people. And everyone is very, very self-serving. So just be careful. Everyone is out for themselves. They're trying to get the big pot, um, like the big piece of the pie. So if there is a bonus, um, if there has been, you know, um, I, I feel like there's some financial benefits coming to you based on your hard work. So it's not going unnoticed. But I also feel on the flip side, other people that are not pulling their weight in a work situation, they're also getting a bonus. And that's not really fair. And I feel like you're coming to this sense of injustice. Like, that's not fair. They're, they're not really doing much and they're still getting the bonus. So you might feel a little bit jaded by the decision for management about whether or not these people are old, you know, like compensation whether or not they deserve a bonus and i feel like it's really not fair i also feel like there is some type of a recognition um ceremony like an achievement awards and things like that where somebody is like oh i want to thank this person thank that person when in fact when they were working they they were just um very uncooperative so I feel like definitely somebody is putting on air, somebody is putting on a show to, to um, paint themselves in a really good light. But outside of this achievement award, outside of the ceremony, they're not like that. They're not all that great and all that nice. Um, I do see issues with children coming into the picture for those of you with children or you're taking care of other people's kids or you're dealing with somebody who is significantly younger than you that you really care about. You want to give them the best, but at the same time, I also feel like you want to you you want them to also work for it because you want to build help them build their character, help them understand the concept of delayed gratification, help them understand the value of hard work. You want to instill in them, um, you know, these good qualities, and I feel like it's a it's a very delicate balance as well because you also tend to get in the habit of doing everything for, for that person. And so try to detach a little bit and let them do things for themselves. Let them come to you if they need help rather than, you know, doing everything for them. Okay, so that's really, really important. Um, what I'm feeling as well is um, I feel like there is some disappointment here regarding wanting to build a uh, future with another person and I don't feel like you know it's a it's a disappointment where they stab you in the back or anything like that but I feel like there's a change in direction okay what we thought we wanted we don't want anymore so for example if you're like um, if you're with a partner and you're like okay let's uh, move in together you know uh, next month let's and then stay together for about a year and then see if we're ready to buy a property and then you know once we get the property then we are going to have children i feel like those plans are either disrupted or they are kind of redrawn okay so it's like you're you're reprioritizing and you know you're a little bit more like it, it, you might be fixed on the timeline like, I want to do this in, in this specific uh, year, I want to do that, and, and things like that. You, you have everything planned. But it seems almost as if the reality is we're both not at a point where we're ready. So let's just put those plans on hold and let's just, you know, keep them on the back burner for now until we both are financially established. I feel like you're dealing with a partner who is not as financially established as you are. And they might be wanting to rush things. They might have trouble finding their sense of direction. They might have trouble. Um, they might have trouble with the foundation of their professional life, with their finances. They might not be where you need them to be in order for you to feel safe about creating a future with them. I'm also seeing one person working, and then the other person is like a stay-at-home parent. And I feel like the stay-at-home parent might be at a point where they're like. I want to return back to work so you have to kind of like accommodate and, and try to work out how things are gonna you know look and how how things are gonna work and how that's gonna 
um, figure into the equation. So, so I, I see that element here about um, the you and a significant other. You have already decided on a course of action, and then there's some disruption or there's some changes to that that course of action, and you have to kind of sit down and redraw the the blueprint, redo things, and and to revisit this discussion. I don't feel that it's bad, but I definitely feel um, the times are changing. Is what I'm seeing. Circumstances change, so we have to learn to be flexible. Okay, so I feel like flexibility and、um, just understanding that situations change. So as soon as situations change and you're catching a whiff of these changes, it's really important to have these discussions to、um, to. Kind of rehash the plans. There's no harm in it. I feel like it's a smart thing to do. So you know, be open to that.、Um, I'm also feeling as well health issues when it comes to moms. So I don't know、um, if you have been in touch with your mom. I feel like it's your mom. It's not like an in-law or another female family member.、Um, I was getting this with Capricorn with their dad. And I'm getting this with you with your mom, so reach out and see what she's dealing with and if she's okay.、Um, I I feel like you know、um, it, it would mean a lot. Okay, so、um, just reach out to your parents.、Um, I'm also getting as well、um, like property, property needing to be.、Um, Appraised, or you're anticipating some type of repairs within the household unit, some type of repairs, some type of restructuring, possibly remodeling, making room for more people to move into the household, or fixing up property in order to sell them. So that element is coming through. It's going to work out really well. It's going to work out really well in your favor. And I also see like a big financial windfall, bonuses, commission checks, and things like that. Um, and so financially, I feel like you're in a really, really, really good space.、Um, for those who are single, I feel like if you're dealing with an air sign, so this is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, they're making a re-entry into your life, okay? And I feel like this is a person that you get along really well with, but for whatever reason,、um, I feel like they might have. Uh, been in your life, and then they left, and then now they're coming back in, and you're kind of wondering, you know, where were you? Like, what were you up to? And、um, I feel like they dealt with some emotional pain while they were away, and they're over that. So now they're making a comeback. So they're going to be very clear with you if you ask the right questions. They're going to be clear and honest with you. And then I also feel like a, 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 an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody who really loves you. Really, really, really loves you.、Um, you have a lot of love for them as well. I just feel like financially they're not where they need to be, and they're working on that. They're working on not only to build for themselves. It seems like they're looking at you, and they're just like, the Virgo is really prosperous. I'm not on their level, so they might be hesitant about approaching you, asking you out on a date. If you're with this person, they're also feeling like they're not.、Um, On your level, and they want more for themselves before they can give you a commitment. Okay, which is a really good energy, and so you have some、uh, good contenders、uh, with you. You have some some good people around you, and I feel like you know, being flexible is a really good quality to kind of incorporate into all the decisions you make this week, so that、um, you don't get. You know, sidetrack or fix into one course of action. Okay, I hope the reading is helpful, Virgos.、Um, once again, I'm really sorry for the delay with your reading. I'm in Northern California. We have a lot of、um, smog from the wildfires, and、um, I've been feeling really、uh, sick just under the weather because of all the those particles I'm breathing in. Um, so I apologize. I'll try to get. I hope it clears up next week and.、Um, My prayers go out to the families and all the people affected. But、um, I will try to get these out early. I should have some free time next weekend to get these out early for you guys. I wish you all the best. Take care.